Okay, so for those of you who are shooting with the Blackmagic Design Ursa or Ursa Mini, um, you know they use CFast cards. So I'm showing you an adapter that's going to save you uh, money in the long run, uh, quite a bit of money, and it's actually faster than CFast cards. So over here, you see I have mounted the ATOC C2S um, adapter or dock, and I have two solid state drives in here. Right now, I'm running two 480 gig SanDisk Extreme Pros. Now the total cost of these two drives here right now are gonna run about $360, um, but things are getting cheaper all the time. So that's 960 gigabytes for about 360 bucks. Um, if you were to get the equivalent storage in CFast, that could run you, even the cheap CFast, can run you almost $2,400. So you're saving over $2,000 um, if you're switching over to the SanDisk or you know solid state drives as opposed to CFast drives. Now, this adapter here uh, just docks into your CFast using these little dummy CFast um, adapters here. You do need to power this up. So I have this plugged into my DTAP um, out on the V-mount battery here. So you can see I have it kind of mounted in a way where it's, it's just out of the way and it's not, you know, if I'm holding the camera here, if I'm leaning into the camera, uh, if I'm grabbing it on the top handle, uh, this dock is totally out of the way. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's not as bad as uh, what most people might say is, you know, you've got all this extra bulk and all this extra cable. Now, I don't think it's a replacement for CFast. I think you should use, still use CFast if you're trying to trim your camera down as light as possible. If you're not running a battery pack, if you're not running this dock, you could just run everything uh, right here on this little camera. And, you know, so CFast is great. But you know, again, you're going to save a lot more money if you switch to solid state drives. I already had these solid state drives. I ran them on my uh, production 4K camera. I use them for the Animal Shogun. Uh, so I, I use a lot of solid state drives. So just because I happen to have these, it was cheaper for me uh, right now to get all of this storage by just buying this dock. Now this will run you about five to six hundred dollars. I think six hundred dollars right now. Um, so that's the initial cost. But again, once you start buying your solid state drives, you're gonna save a lot more money than buying CFast. Um, and they just dock right in here. They come with some extra parts, uh, like these little trays in case you're buying solid state drives that have a, a different um, width. You can put these little docks here so that they fit perfectly. And um, you know, if these write faster than CFast, uh, when I'm using CFast cards like the Lexar, uh, depending on the frame rate and resolution, a lot of times, even in compressed raw, I have to run dual drive mode or dual card mode. And that's basically the camera can put one frame on one card, another frame on another card, and it alternates back and forth. And in post, you would merge the two folders together and you'd have all your frames. Um, so the dual card mode is how we can keep up with the data rate. Now, these SanDisk cards or SanDisk SSD drives in this dock here, um, if I'm shooting compressed 4K raw, so like 3.1 or 4.1 raw, 60 frames a second, I actually don't need to turn on dual card mode. These drives here are fast enough that I could just write to one card um, pretty much all day long. That's with the compressed raw 4K, 60 frames a second. Uh, so that is definitely faster than um, the CFast cards. Uh, the dock here, they say, can uh, absorb more data than the Ursa's able to put out so you're never going to run into a bottleneck here uh, so once again you have to buy the adapter the adapter does have to be powered this is a setup that i have right now it's kind of out of the way i'm not going to bump into it or move it or shift it i still can grab the camera up here in the top handle now i'm waiting for my full shoulder rig so i can figure out how to put all that together um, and still keep it out of the way but so far it's been great i've been uh, shooting hours of footage on it um, again i'm saving a lot of space because with my other CFast cards, I could only run like 20, 30 minutes, depending on the setting that I'm at. So this definitely gives me a lot more time. I think at uh, 4K, 24 frames a second, uh, ProRes HQ, with this uh, 960 gigs, I'm able to shoot maybe two and a half hours, maybe three hours. Um, so a lot of time in ProRes HQ, which this camera is, uh, again, amazing quality out of this thing. So. Anyways, just wanted to share this dock in case you guys are shooting with the Ursa or the Ursa Mini and you're looking to save money on uh, storage, you can use this adapter here. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, I'll have a link 
below this video or on the blog cheesycam.com.